Attention, attention, all the things you've been swooning after on theladygang.com, all of our clothing and beautiful merch. There's a huge warehouse sale happening right now. It's not going to last long, but go over to shop.theladygang.com and you're going to find some epic things. Like you can get a velvet dress for $39. You can get a hat for 10. The swacket is 99. Head over there. There's so much greatness. And you know what? You're welcome. It's time for a quickie. Podcast One presents The Lady Gang, the Hollywood Girl Posse, with Lady Gang Quickie. Here's Kelty Knight, Becca Tobin, and Jack Vanek. Let's make this quick. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Lady Gang Quickie. I'm Becca here with Jack and Kelty. But what I should have said was, hola, 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 because we're celebrating our almost fluent Spanish speaking host today. (laughs) Feliz cumpleaños. And by almost fluent, I mean. Not really. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Have you um, excelled at all in with the Spanish learning, like in the past year? You haven't actually talked about it as much as I would assume you would for somebody that is like, this is your hobby. Because she fell si. off. Um, <laughs> voy a voy a hablar español uh, mucho uh, con Mariana, mm-hmm. con Kristen. Um, You're practicing with Mariana and Kristen? Yeah. Um, Kristen de uh, Caesar? Mm-hmm. She speaks um, Spanish? Mm-hmm. She was my Spanish teacher. Oh my God. She was. So now I'm using apps. Um, yo tengo uh, um, mm-hmm. es, uh, estudiar español uh, cada día on mi teléfono. Oh, I saw your Instagram ad. Sí. It looks cool. Uh, so here's the truth. I am using my Spanish and I'm studying it every day, but native speakers of Spanish speak very quickly. Mm-hmm. Like I'm, I'm basically a baby toddler. I'm a three-year-old. And so it's really diff- – I'm finding it really difficult to like – do Spanish because when I talk Spanish with other people or I'm hearing Spanish, they go so fast. I can only hear like one, I can pick out one word or two words. So the people that I'm good with speaking at, like the guy that made my cabin speak Spanish. And so I speak with him and he knows that I'm learning. So he speaks super slow and super Aww, simple, but you kind nice. of need like idiot level Spanish. So, mm. um, but I am studying and it's going to be a big year. Well, I'm oh, proud of you. Good for you. I'm very proud of you. Learning a skill as an adult is really hard. A well, skill like that. A learning a language as an adult is almost impossible. Yeah. So a language. I, it's literally. Musical instrument. <laughs> um, I have, I was going to say in Spanish and then I got exhausted. You I have enough Spanish that. where I can basically say everything I need to say in a broken, terrible, probably poorly grammatical way. That's okay. It's better than better than what I can most do. people. I've like yeah. two. I know how to say like I studied, I spoke, I have, I want, I I mm-hmm. need. You know, I don't like, I like. I know the days of the week. I know the numbers. Like the pretty much that's gets you by. So well, congratulations. Thanks. More importantly, it's my birthday. <laughs> oh God, how are you feeling? I feel great. The big one. The big one. I've been, I am no longer 30s. I am now 40s. However. Wait, you know, this is so great because 30s was like our lady gang brand. So Mm -hmm. now we can expand into 40s. That's a whole new territory that I'm so excited about. But I do I do want to let you know that until I'm 42, I'm still going to be calling myself 30s because I believe that 30s (laughs) go into early 40s. Mm, No. Because I was 20s until I was 32. (laughs) Okay. That's fine. Anyway. Whatever whatever makes you feel better. Nobody I I actually kind of want to stop altogether knowing or telling anyone's age. Well, Can age is a age is a con, time is a concept. So age doesn't exist. Doesn't we're just true. we're all existing in a weird plane and in a in another dimension, time is not real and it's all just one thing. So what if what if when people asked me how old I am, I said I'm on my Saturn return <laughs> or I'm post Saturn return, post like Saturn, mm. post Saturn return. Cause it's like your late twenties is when that happens for yeah. most yeah. people. Yeah. Well, post Saturn return. That's great. And then it's I, like, you can say that for the rest of your life. For until the rest you of die. my life. 
Also, I mean, I love this. I think we're just ushering in the sexy mature era. Yep. Like mm-hmm. it's been coming and now it's officially here. Yeah. And there are things that I feel very young and hopeful. And like, I feel like I'm not falling apart. Like I have, I feel like I've kept my face nice. I think my hair is the best it's ever been in my life. Like I feel confident. I feel um, like my heart and my soul, even though I like had the biggest cup of all time, which I will tell you offline yesterday, but um, my the way I exist in the world, I feel like I'm growing and getting better and better. Now, there are some things that are gone to shit at 40. The neck is out. My feet <laughs> arthritis is so bad. It wakes me up every night if I don't have CBD oil on it. Like my hips, um, just like my Capacity. Do you actually have a real arthritis? Yeah, I have like, you know, arthritis is like when there's no like lubrication between your joints. Yeah. And I think growing up as a dancer, I don't know if you have this at all, Becca, but like my foot joints are just like, <laughs> anyway. I don't think mine are. I mean, I, we'll see. Stay tuned. I'm the sure. The poor diet your entire life probably. I know. The whole thing is yeah. like the diet coke, it's osteoporosis, say. whatever. But I feel really happy and I actually. No prepares- nutrients at all going in that body. <laughs> nope. Um, I prepared something really special for you guys for this 40th birthday episode because I, I know to say, I prepared something very special for myself. <laughs> I thought you were too. Well, it is for myself. It is for myself, but it's, it's for you and it's for everyone out there. So okay. you know how Glamour Magazine has that like 30 things I wish I knew before I turned 30. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have made a 40 things I wish I knew before oh, I turned 40. I to love this. Today on the podcast. Wow. Well, I love this. Me and too. you're going to talk about them as I okay. read them. Okay. I love it. So I've been putting this together for about six months and some of them are silly and some of them are serious, but um, I just, I wanted to usher in 40, like, so I wrote this whole essay that's coming out in our book about that I do not want to be 40 and yeah. I'm talking all about it, but I'm going to say now here that it's here. I feel honored to age. I feel honored Mm -hmm. to get old. I feel like so many of my friends have passed. Like I've had friends pass away. I've had family members pass away. We've had people have horrible things happen to them. Like I'm here. I'm happy. I'm healthy. I'm safe. And like, that's a blessing. So all the neck jokes and stuff, like I do feel happy to be here on earth at 40. I love that. Okay, here we go. 40 things I wish I knew before I turned 40. You can spend endless amounts of money keeping your face young, but your neck will always tell the truth. Mm. Mm. What about if I've been using my same skincare on my neck? Is there, it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. I have used the same skincare on my neck and Vivace's and Botox. And like I, it's the number one thing I see when I look in the mirror. It's like wrinkly old lady neck. Perfect. I'm going to Diane Keaton. It's going to be turtlenecks in the summer pretty soon, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Number two, enjoy your parents while they're young. By the time you turn 40, you will have missed out on their best year. Mm. dark sorry (laughs) i just spent a lot of my 20s like wanting to be so independent and avoiding my family and i wish i had spent more time like taking a cruise with them that's what cam's song is about yeah redwood tree she's like you saw my parents grow old like she was out and that tree watched her parents it's so sad it's heartbreaking it makes me want to cry yeah um, number three, enjoy your natural hair color while you can. Oh, yep. Until the grays. So yeah, because I was always like, oh, I don't have gray hair. So like I could let my root grow out and I could like have that like lived in blonde that you just grow for six months and then whatever. But now I'm at the point where as soon as the inch of roots come out, it's like you can gray. see the line of demarcation of the gray. <laughs> yes. And that fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's not great. Not looking sucks. forward to it. Um, okay. Being popular and having tons of friends is overrated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is one, this one's for the lady gang. I wish I knew to lean into your, lean into your crazy years. Stop worrying about what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. Party as hard as you can sleep with as many people as you can mm-hmm. live it up. Yes. Don't try to win the race to maturity. It's not that fun when you get there. Oh yeah. Amen to that one. Jesus so Mm. true maybe party hard but be careful i mean mean, party hard hard reasonably (laughs) party hard reasonably drinking no unless you have an addictive personality and then maybe skip this don't party that hard 
But just like go do it. Go be messy. Do go it. live. Go Don't live. Don't try to act like you have your shit together or you're like a, the youngest CEO in America. Like nobody gets an award for that. You know who's um, sad? 30 under 30 people. I bet they're sad. It is. I Like I, the more the older I get, the more that I realize I'm like your 20s. I know we're talking about up into your 40s, but like your 20s are literally the time to f- everything up like you need to like experience and get mm-hmm. up so many times and unless then it, you work for the lady gang <laughs> unless you work for the lady gang Alex. which is work 14 <laughs> hours a day and this never sleep I, I just saw an article that's like watch out everyone gen z's are entering the workforce <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Oh, okay hold on uh, um okay next max out your 401k uh with whatever company at whatever time you can every time mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um i started maxing out my 401k when i was a rocket we had a rocket 401k which was like bananas Hilarious. but i, I th- think at the at the time we made about forty thousand dollars and i think it was like 16 or 17 or 1800 dollars was like the contribution but you were like oh f- like i really need that money you know yeah yeah um but I put it away, and then over the 20 years that it's been sitting there, it's been, like, such a good investment. So please try to do that. Absolutely. Um, mm-hmm. Little money thing. Um, next, never buy anything that you couldn't pay for in cash. So besides your house and your car, mm-hmm. I believe that you should never put anything on your credit card where you couldn't, like, take it out of your debit card, too. Right. And that's a There's- tough there's some quote that Jared's been saying recently. It's like, never buy something once that you can't buy twice. Same kind of mm. an idea. Wait, what? Never buy something once? Can you explain that? <laughs> like if you if you only have, I mean, I've done this. I had $1,100 to my name in my 20s and I spent $1,000 oh. on a plane ticket. Like I couldn't buy it twice. Right. I could only buy I it see. once. I see. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Um, like, so if you have like, okay, got it. <laughs> Becca's I'm glad like, that Kelty explained it because I'm like, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to call Jared over to explain it. I'm like, uh, is that what he means? It's, yeah, it's it is like if you buy a, if you buy a Gucci bag, yeah, it better like, not better be the last two thousand dollars you have yes. left in your account. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> um, are you guys enjoying this? Yes, yes I, I am it. very much. Okay, every single thing that you do to your body will eventually come back and haunt you. I mean, those everything. like in what way? <laughs> like uh, the belly button if, piercing? It does. I, mean, I still have the fucking hole in my belly your button. Your belly button piercing, your bad tattoo, your hair bleach. Mm. Like if you, when they tell you not to look at the sun and you look at the sun all the time, your retinas will burn. You won't be able to see color. Unless you're sun I don't gazing. Think that's true either. At, <laughs> in the last 10 minutes of the day, it's how some people get their sustenance when they don't eat food. Oh wow! Oh shit! Dark. <laughs> this one's I'm, I'm not I'm voting okay. no on that one. Thirty nine yeah. things I wish I learned before <laughs> I turned forty. Um, okay, babies are harder to make than you think. Yep. Sort of. Yeah. For some people. For some. I think that as I got closer to forty, less like. Every single person that we spent our 20s being like, oh, my God, I hope I'm not pregnant. Like every a lot of those people were like, oh, fuck, I can't get pregnant. You yeah. know, it's just hard. Well, it's more in like, your 30s. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 30s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, OK. Uh, learn to include your opinion in a group by asking your higher self what it wants as if it were another equally valid member and learn how to verbalize it. Can you repeat that? <laughs> no, it's a little deep. I feel like there's got to be a simpler way to say that. Basically, like. Um, like kind of what Walter said on the obey quickie last week, like treat yourself like your friend, like, Oh, okay. You know, like you learn to say your opinion and it's like, we really can't do this guys because Becca, like she gets really upset and like, I'm watching out for her because I'm cared about her, but like be able to do that for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, I can't do that because, but your thoughts are valid and you're able to say it out loud. Yeah. I love that. Okay. Because I think sometimes we can do that for our friends or our family members, but it's mm-hmm. harder to do for yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You deserve that raise. <laughs> Girl boss. <laughs> I mean, I just think like. Unless you don't. That unless was. You a, don't. Unless you don't. If you're Kelsey, you deserve the raise. Always. Yes. Hands down. Straight. Yes. Yeah. Across the board. Overachiever. But I think it's always good to ask because wherever mm-hmm. you are, whatever your company, whether it's here at the Lady Gang or you work for Amazon, 
they have their budget too, right? So it's like, it doesn't ever hurt you. Don't sit at your job for six years and be like, I can't wait until they notice that I'm doing a good job no. and I get that raise. Like, go out and get it. And if they can't, they can't. But if they can, they won't That's unless you ask. <laughs> because here's the thing. Even if you don't get, if you work your ass off and you ask for a raise and, but it just so happens like the money's not available to you no one's judging you for asking for that raise. Like no. everybody agrees that you deserve the raise. So it's like, you're not going to ever embarrass yourself for asking for more, even if it means you don't get it unless you're a mm -hmm. slacker and you're asking for more. Well, and it's like the worst mm -hmm. thing that can happen is they say no. And then you're literally in the same position as yeah. you were before you asked. Yeah. Like they're not going to fire you for asking for a raise. So I think that yes. that there's no harm in asking, but be careful who you're, who's asking. Like you better be on your shit, girl. And also have reasons why you, <laughs> you deserve the raise. Uh -huh. Yeah. You don't crushed. come in empty handed and be like, yeah. I don't know, but give that me the money. That was good advice we got from someone who came on the podcast that was like, I think it was Mr. Wonderful or something. With, yeah. Like all the reasons, all the data, like yeah. right, show me the data. It's yeah. Cool. This episode of Lady Gang is brought to you by Obey Fitness. You know that I am the biggest obeyer out there. I've been with this platform since the beginning. It has been the only thing that I've consistently been able to stay with for years. So head on over to ObeyFitness.com. Use our code Lady Gang for one month free. That's ObeyFitness.com. Use our code Lady Gang. There's 28-minute classes. There's 45-minute classes. There's 10-minute classes. There's literally five-minute meditations. There's every class that you could possibly want. Do 28 days of 28-minute fitness. There's so many many obeyers in the lady gang community and what makes it great is that you can get a free month free month just by using our code lady gang so sign up find out why it's so easy to stick to the obey fitness plan you don't need anything you can do it in your living room in your room in your backyard whatever do 28 days of 28 minute fitness i'm so excited to see your sweaty selfies so head on over to obeyfitness.com use our code lady gang for one month free that's obeyfitness.com use our code lady gang Okay, Valentine's Day is around the corner, but nothing is more important on Valentine's Day than self-love because self-love is the best kind of love. And third love is celebrating the year-round love that endures your ride-or-die best friend, your favorite cardigan, your kids, or your loyal fur baby. Love is love is love is love, and we love third love because they know that. So a love that lasts. Celebrate Valentine's Day with Lux intimate gift sets and ultra soft loungewear that hug better, support better, and love you right back. Their Deco Lace collection is really, really hitting it for me. They have a bodysuit that is amazing and gorgeous and sexy and chic. So Third Love is all about comfort. You know, we love their bras, that they have underwear, they have sleep, they have active styles. You can also take a quiz online so you don't actually ever have to go into a fitting room. If you don't love your fit, you can exchange and returns are free for 60 days. They have amazing fit stylists available via chat or text to answer all your questions. Feeling is believing. Upgrade to everyday pieces that love your body as much as you do. Right now, you can get 20% off your first order at thirdlove.com slash ladygang. That's 20% off at thirdlove.com slash ladygang. The Lady Gang Podcast is brought to you by Progressive. Progressive helps you get a great rate on car insurance, even if it's not with them. They have this nifty comparison tool that puts rates side by side, so you choose a rate and coverages that work for you. So let's say you're interested in lowering your rate on your car insurance. Visit Progressive.com to get a quote with all of the coverages you want, and you'll see Progressive's rate, and then their tool will provide options from other companies, all lined up and easy to compare. So all you have to do is choose the rate and coverages that you like. Progressive gives you options so you can make the best choice for for you. You could be looking forward to saving money in the very near future. Money for, say, a pair of noise canceling headphones, an instant pot, more puzzles, whatever brings you joy. Get a quote today at progressive.com. It's one small step that you can make today that can make a big impact on your budget tomorrow. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Comparison rates not available in all states or situations. Prices vary based on how you buy. The Lady Gang. Um, this is one that I learned later in my thirties than I care to admit. The best thing to do in the middle of drama is nothing. Mm. I think in my twenties, when girl, when my friends were fighting with each other, when I was in relationship, I would stay up all night waiting for the text and then text back and like patch my evil plan. And I mean, the best thing to do is to just do nothing like that. It's the most cutthroat reaction. Mm -hmm. It's the most, it's the easiest way for everyone to move on, just do nothing. Mm -hmm. Cut them out. Wait it out. Wait it out. Pause. Mm -hmm. And that leads me to my next one, which could have been one, but I needed 40. Um, <laughs> when you don't know what to do, pause. Yeah. Sometimes you don't take this advice. 
I know. That's why I'm that's why I'm spilling it. When you're a, yes, it's it's kind of like the idea of having a night's sleep before replying to an email or like if something is really mm-hmm. upsetting you, like sleep on it, come in with a clear mind and then uh-huh. proceed. I was but just I listening. used to never pause. Yeah. 365. Now I don't pause like 10 times a year, which I feel is most no, improved award. It's an improvement. Yes, it is. I, huge improvement. I recently heard a podcast that changed my fucking it you'd think I could remember who or what or when or why, but I'm so old wow, I can never. So important. I have but no idea what it was. It was the idea of it was your first response or your first reaction is always your ego. Yes. So you get a text message and you're like, oh, this is f-ing annoying. Yeah. That's your ego. So it's like taking the beat and being like, okay, ego, you got your say. Like you can go away for a second and let me just take this in and take a moment. That to me was major because I yeah. do receive a lot of text message throughout, messages throughout the day where my ego is like, this is so f-ing annoying. It's not work related. But I mean, just sometimes so you- it probably is. Yeah. No, not really. Because that's like, that's nece- it's my, it's a job. You know, yeah. it's necessary, it's, but sometimes you're like, I can't believe the nerve of this person. And then I'm like, oh, wait, and then you're better. And well, then you don't make the mistake of writing back and being a bitch. You're taking it personal. And then you're also on the defense. It's like, oh, too yeah. bad combo. Bad totally combo. true. Yeah. I love that one. Okay. Next up is keep moving every day, any way you can. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's a big mm-hmm. ask. Mm-hmm. It is a big ask. And I think it's just doing the thing like when you're at the Ralph's that has an elevator, take the stairs. When you're at school, take the stairs. When you get home, just stretch, move your body. Like I'm looking at 40 year old body and I'm like, man, what would it be like had I kept my flexibility from being a dancer? Had I done more yoga? Have I done more stretching? Like, I think I would feel better. Like I, you know, I just think moving every day, it's so good for your mind. And if you need to get inspired by that, go back to last week's quickie with Walter. Also Um, walking is underrated. I went for a walk Mm. this morning in the super crazy cold weather. Mm -hmm. Love walking. I was just like, it's so beautiful. You put on a good music. You look at nature. Like it's very calming on your soul. Zach's biggest flaw. His what, biggest like to walk? And flaw, he does not like to walk. What? He does not want to go for a walk. What? Nope. Nope. That is nope. so weird. That's nope. so strange. My friend Megan's husband won't either. She's like, he literally says he's going to hire someone to walk me like a dog because he so doesn't want to have to go on walks with her. What? Like, what are you that, doing during in- these walks that make it so bad? Yeah. Walking is, walking is like so in- innocuous. <laughs> like, you yeah. live in a beautiful neighborhood. Hold on. Let me you ask a sec. You don't, like, walk... The dogs around the block? No, I mean, we will, but it's like, it's as if I'm asking him to go to the dentist. <laughs> That's so weird. I'm going to ask him. So he, weird. I need an explanation too. Chris and I go too. on an hour long walk probably three times a week. If I could change. Jared and I do it like at least like five times a week. Yeah. yeah. If I could change anything about Zach Martin, it would be that. Yeah. That's a big wow. one. Deal Damn breaker. It. He says he can't yeah. come here right now. He's on the phone. Okay. Well, Zach, <laughs> we'll, have, we'll unpack this in another episode of Lady yep. Gang. Biggest flaw. Huh. Who who hurt you as a child, Zach, that you don't enjoy walking hand in hand, yeah. strolling yeah. with nature? Um, okay. Next. This one's going to really hurt me. Uh-oh. Spend more time taking photos of the people and places and things that you love instead of photos of yourself. <laughs> You're both. <laughs> yeah. So here's the truth. I actually do a really good job at this. They just don't get posted on Instagram. That's okay. good. Yeah. See, I do a very bad. I don't No, I I do a really bad job of this to the point where I like have gone on amazing trips or my family, like because I am a little more private about my family and I don't post them on Instagram, like we never sit down and just take pictures of ourselves. And then I'm like, well, if someone, a member of my family passed away today, like the great picture I have with my mom is from two years ago. Like I just saw her, like, why did we not take a picture? Um, and then it's like, people are like, Oh, show me your old house. Show me your old renovation. Show me your first apartment in New York. Show me your first apartment in LA. And like, I have not a single photo because I was just taking pictures of my outfits and my hair. Mm -hmm. So just a thought. (laughs) Um, I got a Polaroid camera for Christmas and it's been, I mean, it's so whatever, but it's been so nice to like bring it 
to different moments and actually like capture a photo and have it physically with me because we take all these photos on our phone. We put, post them on Instagram, but it's like everything gets lost in the shuffle that I really like having that kind of like physical remnant of memories. Hot tip. Midnight, not a sound from the pavement. Are you singing Grandmother Memory? Cats? Oh, cats. Um, all right. So the next thing is further to further you on Jack Vanek with your Polaroid. Document your life in some way because there's so many things that you think you're going to remember forever that you won't. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I know not everyone's a journaler. You're not a scrapbooker, but oh my god, I think I might become a scrapbooker. Oh god, I, I used to scrapbook all the time. Tracy from the Stacks, she does a scrapbook for every single year. But she how has, fucking amazing is that to look back so on? Cool. It's I like love the that. Coolest, coolest thing ever. That's what I thought after I got my pull. I have all these Polaroids. I'm like, well, where do I put them? They're just on a stack in my kitchen right now because I don't have anywhere to put them in my apartment. But I'm like, scrapbook. I might do yeah. it. I was a big scrapbooker during my Rockette days, and I have a scrapbook for every season. And it has so much stuff in it that you wouldn't even remember happening. Yeah. Um, and the way you thought about things, the way culture was like, it's just, it's so amazing. And, you know, I'm a big journaler and just being, you think you're going to remember all these little things. And I go back and, and look at some of these entries and I'm like, oh my God, I remember that happening. And, and more importantly than that, it's so cool to look back and actually have a barometer of your own personal growth. Mm -hmm. Like the way I used to be in relationships and I was like just spazzing out. It's four in the morning. Oh my God. I haven't heard from him in three days. Do you think he still likes me? I don't know why he wouldn't. Like I'm just a psycho and it's just nice to be like, and now my problems are different. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Okay. I have three more for this episode. It's okay to ask for help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, I mean, you don't have to explain that, but it's like, my dad always says to me, baby girl, everybody has a job to do. And it's like, I think he means like, you don't need to plumb this kitchen yourself, but but, (laughs) what is plumbing a kitchen? Like putting the plumbing in myself off a YouTube video. Do you think that's the right terminology? (laughs) I don't know. Plumbing the kitchen. It's not a plumber doesn't plumb. He doesn't. I don't think so. Yeah, what do plumbers do? Hold they on, plumb. <laughs> That's not even plumber ever. gonna plumb, 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 plumb. Does a plumber plumb? <laughs> you have the weirdest. Is plumbing an adjective or a verb? A ver- That's what I'm saying. Does a plumber plumb? Let me tell you. <laughs> okay. The a term plumber plumb obviously- can be used as a verb to describe an activity of a plumber running water supply and drain pipes in a building. Holy shit. A plumber does plumb. She plumbs. Don't ever question your elders again. I have to because on a re- recent Insta story, you said we're going to we're gonna rail it in instead of reel it in. So I always have to catch and make sure you're using the English language appropriately. You're usually not. So That's why I had to check. I'm shocked that plumb is a, is a verb. <laughs> Plum, yeah, he plumbed plum. the house. Anyway, my dad's point is that everyone has a job to do. So, you know, you don't have to make your own flowers for your wedding. You can get the florist. Like, you know, you can. everyone has a job to do. You don't have to do you, it all. You don't have to do it all and you don't have to be good at everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you don't know how to do blah, 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 you can get someone to do it for you. Okay. Two more and then we have to wrap up. Mm-hmm. We'll continue. Uh, these last two are a little serious. They're ones that I added while I was on my trip. Mm. Tolerance. Just because someone doesn't do something the way that you would do it doesn't mean it's that it's wrong. Wow. No shit. <laughs> wow. She just came to this <laughs> realization two weeks ago. ago. I didn't come to the realization, but I was, it was thrown in my face. And I was mm. like, I think that mm-hmm. I'm not even going to tell you, but tolerance, very important perspective. <laughs> Could this Whenever have to do you with Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, it, it does has to do with everything from the big global ideas to like the little mediocre, oh, yeah. like which way do you cut a yeah. sandwich ideas? You I know? think, yeah, I You're think right. the big global idea, we've all come to that big realization over the past oh two years. God. So, yeah. And also Jack Vanek, like you, I, I, I gotta be honest, like <laughs> I have learned 
like the way we essentially work in our metadata of like yes our insides as far as work goes is like could not be more different you were like an ultimate creative and i have i tried all for many years i tried to like bring you to the dark side to my (laughs) side and like and then it, it never worked and then at some point i was like you know what just because jack does it this way doesn't mean it's wrong you know, it just means we get to the we get to the ending together. We I always get, there. get to the ending, and Sometimes it's always late. brilliant. <laughs> I'm actually never late. Just I never finish. Enough. I finish everything at eleven fifty nine. Yes, that's how. And I that work. is so stressful for us, but like it's still done. Like Don't I can't... speak on behalf of me, not us. You and Alex, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's stressful for us. <laughs> anyway, but the tolerance that it's just like you know what? Yeah. yeah. You got it. You can't look at that and be like the way Jack does her timeline is wrong it's wrong it's not it's just yeah. the way you do your thing you yeah. know <laughs> last one perspective whenever you feel really overwhelmed spend some time in nature Ugh. i know these are so stupid you guys but it's really true like mm-hmm. we get in our little busy lives with our to-do lists and our groceries and our amazon packages and our children and our houses and our bills and our mortgages and taxes and relationships and sex lives and utis and you just forget and you think all these things matter so much like it just matters that list you just gave made me like hate being a human (laughs) why (laughs) when you're like groceries and bills and taxes and oh i I thought you meant the whole 40 40 list no 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 no, no, no. what you just did like bummed me the out yeah Yeah. no fun (laughs) Yeah. And it should bum you out because it's like, it sucks. But it's like, whenever I get too much, I like take the dog for a walk or like, you know, Mm -hmm. going, getting outside, looking at the trees, looking at the birds, looking at the squirrels. Like we are all just like some dust. We will be dust again. It's not that deep. We're going to be okay. And on that note, happy birthday, me. Thank (laughs) you for joining me. We will continue the 40 things because next week, because I'm so elder that if it was the 20 things I learned before I was 20, we would have been able to get through them. But there's so many that we have to have a two double birthday episode for Kelty. Can't wait for when you turn 80. The 80 things episode. 80 things I wish I knew. I'll be on my ninth face. It'll be amazing. Anyway, (laughs) happy birthday, me. (laughs) Happy Happy birthday, birthday, Kelty. Kelty. Thanks for listening. The Lady Gang is produced by Alex Ingber, Steve Delameter, and Jared Monaco. Make sure you subscribe, rate, and review our podcast. And if you love it, share it with your friends on social media. Like, oh my God, I just listened to Lady Gang. This episode's so great. It's my bub to listen. And if you really want to, which we know you do, please follow us on social. At Kelty, at Becca, at Jack Vanek, and at The Lady Gang. Sign up for our newsletter at theladygang.com and join our secret Facebook group. It's super fun. See you next Tuesday. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Lady Gang follow-up. Zach Martin, why do you dislike going on walks? I never said I dislike going on walks. <laughs> yes, you did. You project that. What Do you want to go for a walk? I have things I have to do. <laughs> I work throughout the day when you like going on walks. If you want to go first thing in the morning or in the afternoon, I'm happy to do that. I've, I went on a walk yesterday at 5 p.m. You didn't join me. <laughs> Because we have a crew of 13 people in the front yard doing landscaping. Oh, no. Off. Uh, Never mind. Okay, hold on. <laughs> on a one, on a, on a zero to <laughs> 10, on a zero to 10, uh-huh. how much do you enjoy a walk as like a daily activity? Three. See? Mm, yeah. Is there anything we could do to improve the experience of the walk? Like a sexual do walk? Faster. <laughs> do it faster. Now, like a run? my number one question is, is it the company you're keeping on this walk? No, it's the time it takes to go just for a leisure stroll. Mm. It's good for your mental health, though. Okay. Well. <laughs> that was riveting. Thank you, guys. Just, thank well, you so much. So I glad we did have that, a Zach. better answer.